Hello, welcome to my machine embroidery video. Today I will show you how I'm going to embroider this tie. So I'm going to do a machine embroidery design on this tie and you might think Delilah that's impossible. because I'm doing it on my brother Innovus embroidery machine, but it can be done. And then I'm going to show you how to um, sew or embroider names on your sleeve on my brother Innovus embroidery machine. But I am first going to show you how to embroider a name on this tie. You're first going to want to get a template. You're gonna make yourself a template. So I'm gonna start out with four inches and I'm gonna fold it like you would a prairie point in quilting, that's what it's called. So you're gonna fold it like that, fold it again like this, so you have your triangle. And then let's slide it in here to see how it will fit. And so then I realized, okay, and then I'm gonna fold these ones in like this, and that's gonna fit in there perfectly, okay? Because then when you go like this, that's how it's going to, to be. Okay, so then you get your fabric and you're gonna fold that the same exact way. You're also going to, this is, so this is what this looks like. This is my template, okay? Um, so this is my fabric that I'm going to fold the exact same way that I did this. But one more thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna take this and as I fold it, I'm going to spray it with this because I don't want my fabrics to shift. And I'm also going to take my stabilizer and I'm going to cut it out the shape of this. See, it looks like a house. Okay, and so this is your triangle, and now we're going to stick it to our hoop and get it lined up. So then that's what I did right here. I took this and I placed it. See, I drew a, a line right there. I put the sticky spray on it and tacked it down like this and put it in my machine. And I'm gonna show you the most important thing to do is you're going to print your design and place it right on top, see? That is the trick to getting the perfect placement. It's got my cross drawings, it's got my cross lines, so I'll show you on my uh, sewing machine. So this is where it comes in handy, where you're going to place the sticker on here, and then you'll just move your machine. See, I can do that right now. And you're just gonna line up the cross point right there. See, so my needle is right there in the middle and it's ready to stitch. So yeah, I already did the stitch, I did it twice. And so now I'm gonna pull it out this stuff off. So here's my template again, and so I'm just gonna fold it like I did this template. So it's gonna go in there like this. What a perfect fit, you guys. This is gonna look amazing. Okay, so the last step I'm going to do is just put this fusible on the back of it and fuse it to the tie because it does say it's a permanent hold for any project. On the back. So I'm just going to use my template again and I'm going to cut out these shapes right here 
and then let me just kind of trim that down a little bit more. And the instructions, or I'm sorry, there's instructions on this fusible stuff as well. So you just kind of iron it down to activate the stickiness and peel it off. And then you can place it in here. And it's repositionable until you iron it down in place. Also, if you are liking this video so far, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you. So far, so good. And now I'm just using a drop cloth fabric when I iron it down so that I don't burn any of the materials. And then I'm just going to, you know, keep ironing it, making sure it's on there sturdy and then flip it over and iron it down on the other side. And you guys, this is looking amazing. Okay, so was that what you expected? Look at how beautiful that turned out. And it's on there really firm. So this is what she sent me. Um, so this is the before what she sent me. And then I added this onto it. Okay, let's move on to the next project. Now I'm going to show you how to machine embroider names on a sleeve. So what I did is I uh, designed these fonts or I designed these in my Embrilliant software, printed it because that is basically the name of the game. You have to print it. And so I'm going to cut it out and I'm going to stitch this to the shirt that I'm wearing right now. And let me just change my shirt really quick. <laughs> okay, feel free to rewind that if you need to. Okay, so here is my shirt right here. I'm going to turn it inside out. Oh, okay, actually first, we wanna determine what side we want it on. And I'm gonna place a sticker on the outside. So I'm going to do it on the left side and I'm going to do it up top. So let me get a sticker. And I'm going to be having the words facing you guys so that when I do it like this, you guys can read it. Okay, so I have my placement right here. And then let me turn the shirt inside out. Okay, so don't get nervous about this part. But I'm working on my brother in Novus embroidery machine. And so this is what I have to do. I'm using my pinking shears and I'm actually going to cut open the sleeve. So we're going to be doing a little bit of surgery here, but don't worry, don't get nervous. Um, this only works if you also have a sewing machine because obviously we're gonna have to sew it back up. But I'm just cutting this first, um, the top stitch because this is a surged stitch depending on how many names you have it will you know obviously depend on how big you need to cut this open i'll measure how big it is in a minute and then you're supposed to should just pull away and so there it is it's starting to open right there like that i'm i do have some um Stitch a stitch ripper as well. I can't think of the name. A seam ripper that I can use as well. But usually you just cut the top and then it'll come open like this. And I'm gonna have to cut it a little bit more because my size is like this, and we're gonna have to put this in there. So let me show you what I'm doing down here. My sticker in here also has a smiley face, so that kind of reminds me which way I need to place this as well. So right now I've got my stabilizer right here, and I'm just going to draw the cross marks. And then I'm going to Put this one right where I need it. Pin right into that middle so that I know where to put the middle of my stabilizer. Make sure I got this going the right way. Okay, there's my cross mark. Now I'm going to iron this on. And so the marking will come, the last 
word or name will be right here. So now I'm going to iron this. And then I'm also going to get this ready. So I got the markings, the cross markings right here and the cross markings right here. So I'm just going to match those up. Okay, and then I'm going to stick my pin in the middle right here and it's going to come up here and then I'm going to match this up with this one. Okay, so the opening is big enough. That's what I was kind of worried about. I've got it set right there in the middle, which is perfect. See, the needle came right down there in the middle, but I still need to make sure. Let's see. Okay, and then we'll just come over here and we're going to close this up. So I just have my walking foot on and I'm gonna do one straight stitch. Don't forget to back stitch because you don't want it to come unraveled. And then I'm just gonna go back and I'm gonna do a zigzag stitch. Okay, and there you go. And then you can just kind of clean up the we can cut that if we'd like. I'll just cut a little bit off of that and then they won't even know what happened. And you don't need to worry about that part stretching because that's not even going to really stretch. See, no one would ever know a difference. Okay, so I really hope that you enjoyed this episode and you learned some new techniques. Make sure that you check back every week and subscribe if you haven't already. So until next time, happy sewing and stitching. Bye guys. <laughs>